They are on a mission, a mission to bring clean water, good education to those who need it and in desperate need of it. And they're doing it through the nonprofit uh, group called Wells of Hope. Please welcome Tanya Meme. We all know her, but we're getting to know her dad, Frank Meme, who is here. Welcome, Thank welcome, you. welcome. Nice to be here. Before we dive into this and talk in depth about it, we want to take a look at really what this organization, Wells of Hope, is all about. Take a look. Right now, I'm standing in the Guatemalan mountains just outside of Jalapa. I'm here with a nonprofit organization called Wells of Hope. Wells of Hope builds wells and provides clean drinking water for the communities and people around them. Normally, these people would have to walk miles to come to a place like this where they would gather their drinking water, just like these girls are doing. The water is highly contaminated and very dirty. Up to date, uh, we've drilled nine wells. We probably benefited over 15,000 people. When we bring water to the front doors of these homes, the children, A, their health improves. Women no longer have to walk these distances. It's not just the gift of love, it's a gift of life. This is why Ted does what he does, and Ben does what he does, and my dad does what he does. None of them are getting paid. They're just doing it from the goodness of their heart. What keeps them going is the look in the people's eyes when they take that first sip of water. Oh, wow. wow. That's amazing. Well, Frank, you've been in, uh, this has been in existence for 10 years, but you've been involved uh, with it for the last 10 years. And how, how did five you... Years. Or five, five years. Five years, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've been involved for five years. Yeah. Well, how, what, how? What made you, you first get on board? Well, um, I... Um, um, was in the, in, in the doors of retirement. And so a friend of mine... It's um, a nice way to put it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine, a, a fellow builder, actually, he got me interested in the uh, Wells of Hope. And uh, all the time I was looking for something to do, something to give back, something to, to, to help others, uh, people that had less opportunity than me. Mm -hmm. And so I uh, just fell right in and, and uh, I went to Guatemala the first time and I fell right in love with the place, well, in love with the work uh, to, to make these people um, uh, better, to, it, to make a better it's life. It's hard to fall in love with the place knowing how the dire the situation is there. Was it easy to get you on board when you went there? Well, how did that, that with happen? With me, my, first of all, my father has always, and my mom, have always taught us to give back. And the more you're given in life, they say those who have been given much, much, much is, is expected, expected in return. And um, so I sort of do just naturally try to live that way. And my dad called me up and said, meet me in Guatemala. And I said, okay. So I did, not really knowing what I was getting into. And um, it was like, I'm the kind of person, you know, we're all in this world together. So it's not about helping someone in India or this country or that country. It's just help someone. When you got like, just, there, what did you see? Um, you arrived what in kind of conditions wow, are it, they living in? Well, it was, um, it's, it's pretty traumatic. I mean, we've seen, uh, we've seen conditions here. Here you go. This is right here. This is my dad and I we were literally just driving down the road and these two men, they're in a sewage channel. So oh, nice. they're clearing it out. This was, um, a dump that we had visited and this, the, this is where they live. I mean, this is, this was footage that I took and there are actually 25 families living in that dump in that dump yeah and what they living do here, off the dump yes off the dump. oh yeah and they're very you know they're it, what they're doing here is they're they're sorting out the bottles and any glass or any cardboard to hopefully sell and make a, a few cents here and there and just to, but as you can even see the animals look how skinny they are like everybody's very it's it was really 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 hard for me to detach myself especially when i saw that it was hard when uh, you're sitting there and you're hot and you grab your bottle of water and you take a drink i don't it, you don't? You don't, <laughs> don't ever drink in front of them like that. No. What does it mean to them to have fresh water? Wow, it's, uh, it means a lot. <laughs> it, 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 it means life. It means better yeah. health. It means it so means much life, to them. Yeah. yeah, that's what the wells are all about. Yeah, I mean, yep. yeah, whenever Ted, um, who runs the, the rig, like right here, okay, so this was a day where we hit water, and you can see the the people from the community come out every single day waiting for that day that we hit water mm, and this day we that. actually caught it on camera and um, they were so happy and cheerful and one day this woman walked up to Ted and she was crying and, and he said well why are you crying it's a joyous day we hit water today and she said well she says I'm crying because I'm happy she says I have had 14 children seven of them have died because of the contaminated water and she said and today is the first day that I will no longer have to feel guilty and have to feel just 
horrible about bringing this awfully contaminated water to my children, knowing well, that she they could have only to drink it, it yeah. and yeah. they're going to probably die early from it. But they had no, she had no choice. So half of her kids passed away because of it. Well, you started out by building wells, and now it has evolved into building schools. Building schools. How did that happen? Well, I'm, building wells and building schools as I have actually the two uh, main focuses of Wells of Hope. And we're all part of a human... See right here, this is one of the schools before, mm -hmm. and this, this is the old school before, mm -hmm. right, Dad? Yep. Mm -hmm. Right, and so this, if you see, like, they don't even have flooring. This one happens to have a cement floor, but the one that you saw prior to that didn't. So you okay. can continue with your... We, we, we're all part of a human ecosystem, and we want to make the, 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 the people... Uh, productive and we want to make them uh, and we want to make it fun for them too mm -hmm. and um, we we are glad to uh, to, 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 to be um, uh, doing what we're doing for the people there and to, in improving their lives. How many schools have you built right? Up to now we built we're on our 16th school and uh, yes. And the cost per school? Uh, yeah. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> The cost per school, depending on the number of rooms, uh, we build schools anywhere from three to nine rooms. Sure. It's about eight to ten thousand dollars per room, and that includes three washrooms with a septic system, because they have no no sewer sure. system. So we're teaching them the the our way of, of disposing of sewage. Yeah. They still don't understand it. I mean, their eyes, <laughs> they can't, well, look, you know, they can't I, fathom how this thing works. It's a difference already. Yeah. It's pretty incredible. Well, the difference between like the two of you now, the experience that you've shared together as a daughter well, and father, what has that been like? It's, I mean, I've cried with my dad. I've seen kids suffering. <laughs> I've seen animals. I've just, we've seen so much um, misfortune hardship. and hardship together that it not only bonds you, like if you really want a bonding experience with a family member, this is, you should volunteer for something like this. This is, it's changed my life, it's changed our relationship. I put my dad on a pedestal now because he works so hard. Like, f this is physical Hey, hey, he's in retirement yeah. now. I know we, that as he's he said, not when he's in Guatemala. He was standing in the <laughs> doors of retirement. I'm sure I work harder now job. than ever before. I don't know what's happening. but Find out more and how you can help by going to wellsofhope.com. Tomorrow we're going to continue with our second part of this series and find out just how personal this last trip in particular was for Tanya. Oh, okay. Be here tomorrow for that. We're coming back, and Matt's here with some dear little guys working yes. here. When we come back, me and my boys here are going to show you how to put together some really heartfelt Mother's Day presents, but keeping it really simple. It's going to be good. Nice. Well done, son.